Welcome to Morning Devotions, again from the beautiful city of Jerusalem, a city that I hope all of you will one day come and visit with us, and a city that during the thousand-year millennial reign, you and I will come to on great, great regularity, because it is from this place Jesus will rule and reign in this world. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. I want to teach you today from the book of Mark, chapter 9, beginning with verse 33. Scripture says they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet. We always keep quiet when we know we've been doing something wrong. Because on the way, they had argued about who was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, if anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. And the servant of all. There's a great deal of new paradigms that people want to bring into the church world today. There's a great deal of teaching on leadership that is not leadership. There's a great deal of teaching on what church should be like that has nothing to do with the Bible. And people are following these new paradigms because they look successful rather than because they flow from the Scripture. I want to challenge you about this new paradigm of leadership that, forgive me, looks like the world, where you walk into places and everyone is serving the pastor and everyone is, you know, like one pastor said, you, I'll have that, I'll have my armor bearer carry your Bible. I said, what's an armor bearer? He said, you know, the one who carries your sword. I said, what's my sword? He said, your Bible. I said, I can carry my own Bible. It, it is amazing to me how the church world has swallowed up this, everybody serve the pastor. Now I'm a pastor, so I can say this, all right? The people are not there to serve us. We are there to serve the people. If if we truly want to be the greatest, if we truly want to lead the people, then we must lead the people by humbling ourselves and focusing our entire life on serving the people. Now, I know this is extremely uncomfortable because it's much easier to fall into the world's paradigm of leadership where, you know, we are executives and we are big shots and we learn how to strut. And uh, I've had pastors say, Pastor Summerall, if I do what you say, people will disrespect me. You know what? You're right. People will disrespect you because they disrespect themselves. But people who truly understand the scriptures and people who truly are walking with God will respect a leader who leads from a biblical perspective. It is our job to pour every bit of strength and energy we have into serving the people. Thank you for joining us today. Catch Daily Devotions every Monday to Sunday at 9.30 a.m., 5.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. on DZBR, 5.31 a.m. or visit www.bible.radio. On April 15, Good Friday, we invite you to the annual School of the Cross in all Cathedral of Praise campuses. Learn the real story, the biblical truths and historical facts surrounding the sacrifice and triumph of Jesus Christ on the cross. Plan the trip of a lifetime. See the Bible come to life and join COP Israel Tour 2023. For inquiries, Message us now at 0998-583-9781 or at facebook.com slash cop.israeltour. You may also send an email to israeltour at cathedralofpraise.com.ph.